Boo was grooming himself and then he just jumped towards Simba and Simba is not happy about it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 7.55 a.m. Stella was laying in the cat grass in the kitchen. Stella loves the kitchen. Good morning, Stella. And here's Simba. He's checking it out. Stella, Splash, and Simba were on free roam last night. And uh, they'll hang out upstairs um, until they all get their little vitamin treats together this morning. And then they'll go downstairs and Boo will be on free roam during the day. There's Stella. She's back in her wheatgrass. Stella's a very, very polite girl. And when I greet her in the morning and when I turn the camera on, she likes to get up from wherever she is and come over and say hello to me. Right, Stella? Stella loves saying hello to me because she has good manners, right? Because that's what a queen needs to do. A queen has to have good manners, right, Stella? And Stella says a queen also needs to keep her subjects in line. So that's what she does with all of the cats. She likes to keep them in line, especially Boo, because he's new to her kingdom. Right, Stella? It is 8 a.m. And I heard Boo knock, oh, oh my gosh, look at this, holy. So I took the metal gate out of Boo's door so I could just step through before I let Boo out um, and give the cats vitamins together. And Simba just jumped the gate to come inside and say hello to Boo. And he just jumped the gate to leave the room also. Now so far Boo has been good and he has not been jumping any gates. Now, back to this interactive uh, feeder. Um, this morning, I heard Boo knocking around some toys that I thought were the Turbo Scratcher, but then I realized it wasn't the Turbo Scratcher. And I realized it was these balls from here. So, I knew Boo was going to do that. I think I even said that yesterday when I filmed this. Um, but let's see how smart Boo is. The thing is, there's crunchies. Maybe these are not good crunchies to put in here. These crunchies are a little small, and they're getting caught in these cracks, like these crevices in here. So I'm going to have to get those crunchies out because they're blocking. The, the crunchies are blocking the movement of these pieces. Same thing up here, even though there are crunchies here. Boo did not do a very good job of getting crunchies out. He didn't even try to get the crunchies out of this one. And... Um, there's still crunchies in here. So you know what I might do? I might take this whole thing of crunchies out when I give the cats their vitamins. I'll give this to the other cats. And maybe Simba's smart enough to get uh, the crunchies out of here. Maybe Stella is also. Maybe Splash is. Because we know Boo, um, Boo's not too good with puzzles. I mean, he's a very smart cat. But I don't know if he's smart in an academical way. Like, Boo is very, very street smart. But then there's, like, book smart, which would be, like, academic smart. And um, I feel like this would be kind of in that grouping. And I don't think Boo's really that type as much. Right, Boo, you're a smart boy. Right? There's the other ball. Okay, so I just put the interactive feeder here on the rug and Sip is checking it out. And look at what a good boy Boo is. He did not jump the gate. Right, Boo? I'm waiting for all the cats to get here. Stella just came. They're splashy. Now we can start handing out the vitamins, right? Right, Boo? Boo ate his vitamin. Simba has eaten two vitamins. Stella has not eaten her vitamin. She likes to just keep it in front of her. And Splash has eaten his vitamin. Stella, eat your vitamin. Eat it. You could eat it. Eat your vitamin, Stella. Stella said she wants me to put the treats down right in front of her and not throw them at her. Simba's here. He ate his treat. Splash just ate his. And Boo ate his. Ready, Stella? There's your treat. She eats it right away if I put it down right in front of her. If I feed it to her like a lady, she eats it. And Boo don't care. He'll just eat anything. 
So all four cats, all four cats are getting their morning vitamins at the same time. So far it's been peaceful. Splash is doing so good. He's like right here on the rug with the other cats getting his treats and I don't have to throw them to the outfield. So this is the interactive feeder board from last night. There is not one crunchy left on it. I mean, it is just wiped clean. They did a really good job with that. Right, Stella? It is about 8.50 a.m. and I'm outside to feed Hydrox and it looks like someone has eaten most of the dry food out of the feeder. The wet food is all gone and I'm gonna give him some more wet food and fresh water. It is 4.15 p.m. and I just came outside to give Hydrox half a can of food and some water and to talk to him for a few minutes. How you doing, Hydrox? How you doing, Hydrox? Are you a good boy today? Yeah, did you have a nice day? What did you do today? You just hung out? So what do you think of those other cats? What do you think about the cat that looks like you, Hydrox? Do you know who that cat is? Who is that cat? Are you related to that cat? What about the cat that looks like Stella's relatives? Do you know who that is? No, you don't know who that is either? Are you related to both of those cats? You don't know. You don't know what related means. Hydrox got a lot to learn, you know that, right? Would you like to eat some dinner? Want some food? Hydrox, want some food? You don't feel like me talking to you? Okay, you want me to go in? Okay. Want me to go inside? Want me to give you food? What do you want me to do? Hello. I'm not gonna hurt you. How are you, Hydrox? How are you doing, Hydrox? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to say hello to you. Hydrox, you got a lot of people that like you. You know that, right? Hydrox, do you know you have a lot of people that like you? You have a lot of friends. Hydrox, how many friends do you think you have? Hmm? What do you think? You don't know? Okay, I don't know, you don't know. You don't care? The cats are getting their raw food tonight. They're getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. And for the first time ever, they're getting Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. And uh, yeah, I'm actually having a issue like serving them these rabbit nuggets. I didn't think uh, it would bother me, but yeah, it is. Uh, it feels really weird. And um, let's see if they like it. They might not like it, who knows, but um, this is a small portion of dinner for them because I dropped the platter and I would say about a third of the food on it uh, nearly went down the sink and um, I don't want to feed them food that might have been contaminated, so um, let's see if they eat this. If they eat all this, then I'll give them like a small can as a supplement. All three of them are eating it. Right now it's about 8 p.m. It could also be that they're just really hungry, but I gave them some crunchy treats around 4 p.m. I gave them a very small amount of crunchies, so we'll see. I'm wondering if the rabbit might taste more like mice to them. And I know this, this is a really gross conversation. It's a really horrible conversation to have, but you know, it's the reality of cats. Cats are biologically designed to be hunters, to take care of rodents and small prey. So. So Simba and Splash just went upstairs and Stella's just finishing up, but look at that, they ate everything. And they're probably still hungry because that was not a full serving, so I'm gonna go get a small can of food and put that on their platter also. 
It seems that they really enjoyed the rabbit because normally they leave the primal raw nuggets for last and then they go back to them later. And they usually only have the turkey ones. I've tried giving them the chicken and salmon ones. They don't really like those. So um, it looks like they will like the rabbit ones and it is kind of ironic uh, that the store uh, now has those and I'm feeding them on a bunny platter and uh, Easter's in a few days. So in my mind, these rabbit nuggets are their Easter treat. Okay, I just gave Boo his dinner. He's having the same thing as the other cats. Let's see if he'll eat it. He seems to be eating it. There's a lot of noises going on right now. There's the washer on, the dryer on. There's a timer in here. There's all kinds of stuff going on. I just let Boo out of his room so he can interact with the other cats. Here's Stella. Simba came over to sit near Boo. I don't know what Boo's gonna do. Maybe he'll go and look out the window. That might be the best thing. Stella looks like she might pounce on him. Okay, so I'm trying to upload tonight's video and uh, Boo was grooming himself and then he just jumped towards Simba and Simba is not happy about it. So Simba is growling right now and I hope there's not going to be a fight. I don't know if you could hear Simba growling. I'm assuming Boo wanted to play. Boo, did you want to play? I'm assuming that's what it was. What happened, Boo? I just missed the entire thing. I was typing in a description for tonight's video into YouTube. The next thing I know, all of the cats are running in all different directions like a pinball machine again. And then here's Boo in like the middle of the rug. So. I don't know if Boo uh, jumped onto the rug and freaked all the cats out and they all went running. Uh, I don't know because Boo was just sitting on the rug not too far from me. He was just sitting there like in a little Boo loaf position. And um, I'm going to have to check the security camera, see if the security camera caught anything again because the security camera is motion activated. Sometimes it misses like the beginning of the motion. So um, I have no idea what just happened. The rug got totally moved because, you know, they all ran. Boo is sitting in the cat tower. And it was funny because he was hitting the curtains with his tail. And he didn't know what was moving the curtains. And then maybe I think he figured it out. So Simba is sitting on the play rug. Staring at Boo. And I think Boo is staring at Splash in the hallway. I could be wrong. He could be staring at Simba for all I know. But I'm not crazy about Boo being in this vantage point. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, if he's going to jump on them, he'll jump on them no matter where he is. But because he's up higher and he has a good vantage point, I mean, he could just fly off of that and onto them. Boo's been hanging out in the cat tower. He's been a good boy. 
It's about 9.53 p.m. We're just about to do some crunchy time with the cats. Stella has been following me all around the house all day. And I think she wants crunchies because they haven't had any. They just had a little tiny bit this afternoon. Oh my gosh, you guys just missed it. Stella just totally gave me like the biggest drama queen move right now because so I started giving Stella some crunchies on the ground and she didn't eat them so I put some on like the lid and I said oh Stella do you want them on like a little plate and she didn't eat them so then I moved the um the party platter over and I was putting crunchies on the party platter over and no one ate them so I was holding some crunchies in my hand I was like Stella you want some crunchies and she like sniffed them, turned up her nose, and then like stood up on her hind legs and like jumped away. And now she's by uh, the door. And uh, oh my gosh, it was just such a drama queen move. And now Simba and Boo are eating their crunchies. Splash was in the hallway, I threw him some before. I don't know where he went now. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.